So why is the sky blue? Well, first of all, it's not a reflection of the ocean. That is a myth, but the oceans do change colour to reflect the sky, especially when it is cloudy, you get a nice grey ocean. The first step to correctly explain this was done by John Tyndall in 1859. He discovered that when light passes through a clear liquid with small particles being held in suspension, the shorter blue wavelengths are scattered stronger than the longer red wavelengths. Funny enough, this is called the Tyndall effect, however it is commonly known by physicists as the Ryland scattering. As Lord Ryland showed that the amount of scatter is inversely proportional to the fourth power of wavelength for sufficiently small particles, so blue light scatters more than red light by a factor of 10. The original thought was this was due to dust or water in the air that caused the colour. If this was true, different humidities would cause different colour skies. Later scientists had suggested that it was due to the molecules of oxygen and nitrogen. There is enough to cause the scattering, but the molecules are able to scatter light because the electromagnetic fields of the light waves inducing electric dipole moments in the molecules. But let's look at the colour spectrum. If the shorter wavelengths are scattered more strongly, why isn't the sky violet? The emission spectrum of the sun, however, is inconsistent over all wavelengths, so less violet light is actually emitted. In addition to that, ultraviolet gets absorbed high up in the atmosphere by ozone, and this leaks into the violet section slightly, so some violet gets absorbed. Our eyes are also less sensitive to violet light. We have three different types of colour receptors or cones, blue, red and green. So when you look up at the sky, your red cones respond to a small amount of scattered red light, but also a tiny bit of orange and yellow light too. The green cones respond to a bit of yellow, mainly green, but then also a little bit of greeny blue. The blue cones respond to the blue, the indigo and the violet light. If there was no indigo and violet, the sky would be a greeny bluey colour. But with this combination, we get our brilliant blue. So that is why the sky is blue. This is part of my series where I ask Google why and pick the top results. So here is a bunch of videos I've already done and the link to the playlist. Like and subscribe to the video will make me very happy. Ciao for now!